Haddock in, in New England and actually Haddock now in the North Sea um, have recovered quite dramatically. There's some differences between the biology of Haddock and the biology of, of related species like cod that would help us understand why Haddock might have recovered when cod haven't. Um, but in addition, we've just done a better job of focusing management measures to allow Haddock to recover. And the same thing is true has been of sea scallops in New England. It's easy to say how much pressure you could put on a fish stock such that it will either grow or maintain itself. It's much more difficult to implement that because you're affecting real people. Um, you're telling people they can't do things that they may, may want to do, that they have to change their business, they have to change their recreational pursuit in order to try to allow the stock to grow. So it, it is due to management. Um, the scientific principles are simple. The actual implementation of policy is complicated. Coastal communities are under threat from a lot of different sources. Um, one of them is changes in how fisheries operate because fisheries have been important for the not only the livelihoods of coastal communities but also the culture of communities like the town of Gloucester where I live. Um, so changing fisheries telling people that they have to change their way of doing business puts stress on those communities. If you add on top of that economic stress, then you can be in a very difficult situation. However, uh, as with much of the other discussion about um, how do you get out of the economic crisis, um, in, in fisheries, you can be far more successful if you fish less because it's one of the few cases where you actually get more. If you allow the stock to recover, you actually get more. It's high quality protein. It's higher value if you fish it at a reasonable rate, therefore brings more money into the community. But making that transition is going to be difficult, and it's difficult in difficult economic times. The United States has one of the strongest fisheries laws um, in the world. Um, some other countries that have been uh, had some success, or certainly Australia has had some success with, um, with some of their fisheries, rock lobster, uh, Southeast Australian shell fisheries and so on. New Zealand has had some success for, with some of their fisheries. Um, the Euro European Union, Norway, and Iceland have had a very mixed record, uh, more like the U.S. Um, some success, some really terribly problematic situations. Um, so we see uh, Canada has done well in some cases and, and poorly in others, so a mixed record. No one has got it right yet but we actually know what the elements are. I'm optimistic about the future, but I suspect it will take a while. Um, you know, the, the, I, I think the scientific advice um, is relatively straightforward, although we need to know a lot more about lots more species and about interactions in the environment. But the first principle of fisheries is to try to control the amount of human impact directly on, uh, on stocks. Um, I think we can do that, but I'm also realistic, having worked in the political environment of fisheries for a while, that it takes quite a long time. My one nervousness is that the fish might not wait. Uh, 